Good bends. Good boy. Nice. Good boy. Well done. Yeah. Good. Good boy. Good bends. Ah, no. No. Come here. Back to where you were. Bent down. Thank you. Good. Good boy. That's better. Good, Bent. Good. Nice work. Look at all the mud I've brought in with my boots. Good. Well done, big fella. Good boy. I've been a few times. Good boy. Done. Now we might go the other way and open a door, but that's actually pretty good. Good bends. Good boy. Well done, buddy. Good boy. Good. Good boy. So I just moved out of sight. Good man. So next move might be walking out of sight and closing the door after I've moved out of sight. But we're just doing everything incrementally and no, down. Now it doesn't get a treat that time because he got up. So what's happening is Ben's jumps for no, back down. No. Yeah, you stay there. Ben's climbs forward. He um, comes forward for the food a lot, like he push it really pushy and he steals food. Everyone is walking. If you reward him with food, he's punching into the pouch instead of patiently waiting for it. And he tends to steal food that's on the ground or just lunge at it. So I'm really working on good boy Ben's. I'm working on making sure he stays in position. <laughs> And I'm letting you get away with this, the fact that he's moved because he's trying really hard and I'm on camera. So otherwise I probably would have put him back, but he went down on his own. But if he makes a mistake, there's no reward. If he gets it right, there's a reward. Good boy. Good man. Oh, you're a funny guy. Have a look at it, Luna. Good boy, Ben. So even the fact that I'm good boy, Ben, so I'm going to reward him that time because I walked behind him and he didn't get up and spin. And same again, he's learning good boy. He's learning not to just steal the food and get out of position every time. So now that I rewarded him once that way, I'm going to test the door. Good boy, Ben. Good. So see how he's not spinning. He's staying in the one spot. He's being exceptionally good. And I'm making sure he doesn't get out of position for the food and he's not stealing it. So that's a big deal for, for Ben's. He's a very good boy. Good. Okay, free. Good boy. So that's an example of how you can sort of teach your dog to stay still a bit in the house. Good boy. Once they know a simple behavior like a sit or a down or go to a bed, you are so handsome you can hold them accountable for it. So the next thing we're going to do is use the television because Ben's lunch is at the TV. And if he doesn't know to stay in his bed or, or stay in it down, he's not gonna know to stay there and not jump at the TV. So we're gonna do that and we're gonna teach him not to jump at the TV. You are so handsome. Good, okay, good boy. Your Ben's on your bed. Good, come on, lie down. Good boy, that's lovely. Good boy. So even if I, so good bends. Now I've moved into a sit. Just the fact that I've changed from a standing position to the sit is a change for him. It's new. So I'm going to stand up and reward him now. So 
I'm showing him it doesn't matter where I go in the house, if I'm standing or sitting or if I leave the room, he's not supposed to get up just because I sit down. He's got to stay there. And he doesn't have to stay in his bed for his whole life, but he does have to stay put for short periods. And yeah, but you can't expect your dog to know what to do in the house if you don't teach it a few things. And Ben's already knows heaps of stuff, but he also takes a lot of liberties. Gee, you're a good boy. So I might go get a cuppa and do this for a little while, and then we're gonna put the TV on. Over and out. Oh, actually, good boy, Ben's. I might just do one more. So because I'm, I'm trying to do it a little bit slower too, so it looks a little bit like we're not in total training mode. Good boy. I don't want him to always think it's go time. Like sometimes we just chill and do stuff. So I might open the oven door this time. Good boy, Ben. Sort of slowed down the pace a bit, just to sort of re replicate um, what normal calm house time looks like. It's not just good boy, good boy. I'll see if he does this one. So I open the door, close the door, good boy, and then come back into sight. And I'm really calm. And now I might sit down before I reward him rather than reward him because he's just done a fair bit of this. Good boy. This doesn't need to be rewarded constantly, but every time we change something when you're teaching a new behaviour, reward it. Good. Good boy, very good. Now that's excellent, mate. I'm gonna watch a bit of telly and get my coffee. So we're not really in high peak training mode where I'm getting him up fast. You do some slow stuff too. Okay, over and out because I might need my hands for this. He's already looking at the reflections in the TV, so I don't want him to launch while I'm not holding the lead. Let's see, if I wait a bit longer, I reckon he'll just like put his head down and have a snooze. But that's boring. That's for you guys, so over and out.